Hello students, in this video we will be seeing the topic switching from unit 1. Before proceeding with the concept of switching, we have to know some basic parameters of networks which includes router, switch, hub and repeaters. These parameters or these devices will be repeatedly uh, used in this subject. So first one is router. A router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. Second one is hub. A hub is a component of a network with a high degree node. Hubs have a significantly large number of links in comparison with other nodes in the network. Third component is repeater. A repeater will just work like an amplifier. A repeater is an electronic device that receives signal and retransmit it. The last component is switch. The network switch which is also called as switching hub, bridging hub and uh, officially it is also called as Mac bridge. It is a networking hardware that connects devices on a computer network by using packet switching to receive and forward data to the destination device. Now coming to the switched network. An internet is a switched network in which a switch connects at least two links together. A switch needs to forward data from a network to another network when required. In this picture we can see uh, alphabets starting from A to G or A to F is being connected through the different uh, switches 1 to 5. Individual systems or terminals will be connected by means of switches. In between switches to connect the two different switches there is a component used called as bridge. For that bridge component twisted pair cable wires or coaxial cable wires will be used to connect two different segments. Switched networks are classified into three categories. The first category is circuit switched networks. Second category is packet switched network. The third category is message switched networks. Packet switched networks again is classified into two different types called as datagram networks and virtual circuit networks. The first category in a switched networks is circuit switched networks. A circuit switched network consists of a set of switches connected by physical links. A connection between two stations is a dedicated path made of one or more links. However, each connection uses only one dedicated channel on each link. Each link is normally divided into n channels by using frequency division multiple axis or time division multiple axis. So following with this, we will be discussing three phases efficiency, delay, circuit switched technology and telephone networks of this circuit switched networks. Circuit switched networks requires three phases of connections. The first phase is setup phase, the second phase is data transfer phase, the third phase is disconnection phase. During this setup phase, there should be a physical connection should be made uh, available between the two systems which is being connected. The second phase is the data transfer phase where after the connection is being established both the parties or both the systems will start to communicate between each other that is they will be sending data between each other. After sending data after the data is being sent or received the third phase will get to start. The third phase is nothing but the teardown phase or disconnection phase where either one, one sender or either the receiver can uh, start this disconnection. We can predict the efficiency of this circuit switching network by seeing this diagram. Each and every system is connected individually using this wires. So it also requires a 4 cross 8 switch to connect all the individual systems. So it is very less efficient because it requires more resources such as wires, switches and so on. In circuit switching, the resources need to be reserved during this setup phase. The resources remain dedicated for the entire duration of data transfer until the teardown phase. 
in this picture we can see that the system a is sending a message to the uh, system m through the nodes 1 4 and 3 so until the message is being transmitted the node 1 4 and 3 will be occupied another problem with this circuit switched network is delay there are two different types of delay uh, will be generated in this uh, circuit switched network the one is due to propagation time the other one is due to data transfer uh, the delay due to propagation time can be calculated as the sum of propagation time of the source computer request and request signal transfer time propagation time of the acknowledgement from the destination computer the signal transfer time of the acknowledgement the next delay which is due to data transfer is the sum of propagation time data transfer time one good example of circuit switched technology is our older telephone network our older telephone network uses this same circuit switched technology for communication switching at the physical layer in the traditional telephone network uses this circuit switching approach the picture which is shown here is using a circuit switched network to connect eight different telephones in a small area where the communication is done through 4 kHz voice channels and uh, they have assumed that each link uses frequency division multiple access to connect a maximum of two voice channels the bandwidth of each link is then 4 kHz so also we can see that the telephone 1 is connected to the telephone 7 and 2 is connected to 5 and 3 is connected to 8 and finally the 4 is connected to 6 of course in the situation may change when new connection are made fine we have come to the end of this topic we will see the next topic in the next video thank you